you ever want to just learn how to make a really cheap burger but also tasty and you know you don't go bankrupt after it well you came to the right video right these are the ingredients you shall be using chili powder yes fucking get that in there it can, it, honestly use a lot of chili powder it gives it that brilliant taste and once you're cooking it off it gets rid of all the spice really not really that spicy Unless you want it spicy, then add paprika hot, which is on the right here. It gives it more spice. Uh, onion salt. Brilliant. Gives it that good flavour. Uh, also that garlic salt as well. Gives it that brilliant... Um, it just binds it, man. It's, it's really good. Uh, black pepper. Get that in there. It's good for burgers. Gives it that good taste. And again, paprika hot. Here it is. On the right. Uh, you can just use paprika, honestly. I could only find paprika hot in my kitchen. Uh, and salt. Salt is delicious. Delicious. And uh, Red Leicester cheese. Red Leicester cheese. Tell you what my ass does. Fucking never has Red Leicester cheese. I have to hunt for that shit. Get that, do you? Alright, so those are the ingredients. And an egg. And an egg. You gotta use an egg. Or you can use milk, honestly. You can use milk as well. A little two tablespoons of milk. Get that mince, didn't you? You only need 500. You don't need that much. Fucking hell, you don't need a thousand. So, this is it. Put your mince in a bowl. I get your egg. Delicious. <laughs> and uh, crack it in. Get it in there. I'm trying to do it with one hand. You can see how much I'm failing. Oh my god, I can't do this one handed. I know you can. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Get that mm. fucking eggshell out. Now mix it in with your hands. Get in there. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you. Oh. Now this is the sound when you're in your room doing something dirty. Mix it in very well. Make sure you don't see any lines left. Look at that. Oh, oh. Okay, I'm just mucking about now. It was a little bruised, didn't it? We got this mince like. Uh... Yeah, not a lot of So make sure it's all mixed in. If you don't like meat in your hands, get a glove. Yeah, get a glove on. Oh, so fucking cold. Oh yeah, it'd be very cold as well if you like all this in the fridge. Salt. Now, what should we do next? Salt, obviously. Just do salt. Mmm. Beautiful. Onion salt now. Mmm. Onion. And then, garlic. Be careful with this. And now we are adding chili powder. Get that in there. Add loads in there. Until you can't see the fucking mints. Put it all in there. Yum. Woohoo. Uh, what's, what's next? What am I putting in? I like to just throw it all in before I mix as well. Uh, I think that's the paprika. Paprika hot. Uh, like I show. Like I'm not that much of a scrub. Fantastic. Uh, looks like. Uh, ooh, the audio. What the fuck's going on? Oh, my dear. <laughs> oh, might have a big doobie. That's what I'm saying. Oh, no, I'm not. Uh, probably wonder what all that was in the frying pan. That's bacon. I was like, you know what? I'm going to leave that bacon and grease in there. Make a nice fucking bacon flavored burger. So, yep, yeah, again, mix it all in. Make sure you really mix it this time. You want the whole burger have all the flavour. Every bit of meat has to have that spice. Mm. I'm doing this with one hand. I hope you're impressed, Mum. <laughs> uh, 
I've made this burger so many times for my family and friends. Uh, I think I'm adding... Yeah, let's talk about a more paprika. I love paprika. Mm, don't be afraid of paprika, my man. I would recommend also, I didn't put enough garlic powder into this one. Yeah, so throw in more garlic powder. It's, it's very good. Oh, oh, come on. Grow up, you big bastard. Bing! Oh, my Christian. So, now I'm patting it with my hands. You know, use the palm, palm of your hands. And uh, now we're going to throw it into the frying pan. Immediate cut. Make sure it's sizzling like that, bad boy. Can you hear it? That's what you want to hear. Medium heat. Medium heat as well. Medium heat. And make sure it's already at that point, like sizzling, and then put it on. Yeah. Don't want your burger to just heat up really slowly. It's fucking minging. It's no good like that. Now, I would say every two minutes, two to three minutes, give it a flip. Make sure it's black. Kind of blackish brown, brownish black at the bottom. Brownish black, brownish black, black brown black, brown black. Woo yeah. So I'll cut to where I flip it. Uh, you will notice once I flip it, there's an eggshell on the fucking burger. Don't worry, I remove it. I notice it while I'm cooking. It is fucking banging, but that's how it's meant to look. This. Brownish grey in the middle. Action. See? Yeah, I noticed. I noticed. But I, I get rid of that. Don't worry. Look at that. Megan, get that out. My burger. Sometimes it fucking happens. You never know. Oh, here that sizzle. Also, don't squish it down with a spatula. It gets all the rid of the juices. You don't want that. Um, so yeah, here's me flipping it again. Uh, it's been like uh, two to three minutes again. So I flip it another two times. Uh, again, I really recommend not squishing it with a spatula. Don't push down on it. What happens is the burger splits if you do that. Fucking hell, I was having a seizure there. Oh my damn. Yeah, if the burger will split and all the juices and all that good fat from the mince just Leaves. Can I do it? You want you want a burger when you bite into it, fucking explode the juice in your mouth. So that's what happens. Don't squish. I heavily recommend not squishing it. I know the temptation trying to make it flow. It just means you're gonna have a big tasty burger. So I'm gonna go and flip the burger a third time. That was around I'm gonna say three minutes again. Boom, look at it. Mmm. This is what I'm on about. It's getting coming like blackish brown. Mmm. Delicious. I need something delicious. Fucking barb. With a bloody milkshake. But yeah, keep up with that. It's good. Don't squish it again. I really just. Like, you can see it like puffing up before that juice. And if you cut it, it just falls out. It just falls out. Where's my dishes? So yeah, don't do that. I'm trying to think of other things. Like any advice. I guess if you shake an egg in a in a roll. Uh, if you shake, not a roll. If you just shake the egg in the eggshell and then crack it, the yolk uh, stays in the middle. But you don't know that. <laughs> it's true, it works. I think I'm flipping it again. I'm doing quite bad. Whee! Oh, I actually captured it this time filming it. Oh, look at it. Oh, it's looking so good. I think this is the time now that I add the cheese. This is the time you just add the cheese. And don't worry, I'm using sprinkled. Who cares? Who cares? People will be like, use the square cheese. Fuck off. Use whatever cheese you like. Don't let's double people. Look at that. Mm. And once it melts on the side as well, look, get the spatula. I'll try to do this with one hand. But yeah, like, scoop it up and it becomes like melted cheese. 
like hard at the bottom, so it's like you get like this nice fucking crunchy cheese at the oh look at mm. I'm smacking my belly in that excitement and happiness because it's so tasty I love it such a cheap way of making this burger and you're probably thinking how is it cheap you put all those ingredients you buy all those ingredients that'll last you weeks probably even months and then all you need to do is buy the mince and egg and then boom you can just keep making this bad boy it's fucking great. And remember, you're making more things with those ingredients. Yeah? Just do it. Just make a good burger. At least try it once in your life, you know? It ain't that bad. It's easy to cook as well. This is like the easiest thing in the world to cook. The easiest damn thing to cook in the world. I wish my camera skill, I've never recorded with a phone before, anything really. Actually I have, I, I've done it before, but I'm dog shit. Look at this, look at that crunchy cheese on the top left. Ooh. <laughs> if you're wondering what the music is in the background, uh, you can listen to this one. This is um, Joey's Dream, or whatever it's called, I think it's called Follow Your Dreams. Um, I love this track, I love that. The other one behind it was the World Tour, that's Miss Juicy. If you don't know who Miss Juicy is, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you don't know. This is me getting the roll now. Um, here's a wee technique, you can actually just, with these rolls, or any roll, just shove your fingers in. Like, just shove your finger in. And it opens it up, you don't even need to use a knife. I'm saving cutlery. Oh, life is easy, isn't it? Life is good. You need to come up with these techniques. I'm doing this with one hand too, so that's why it's looking fucking awful. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what? I hate holding the camera. It's the worst. Can't be arsed. Um, now, um, it looks like... Oh yeah, that burger's done. What I'd recommend as well, if you're cooking one on one, I'd recommend sacrificing one. As in like cutting it in the middle and making sure it's cooked right in the middle. Then I want a raw burger. But I've been doing this for a long time now, this burger. I know exactly when it's fucking done. Now mm, 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 bird. Now get that on. And there we go. Burger. Done in like 15 to 20 like 10 minutes really. 10, 15, whatever. It depends on the heat, really. There it is. Fucking juicy, big yum. You know what's a juicy burger, tape when you do this? Watch. What's the juices? Oh. 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 Now, now, um, to the special bit, you probably wonder, what else did he do with the mints? This. I'm throwing it all in. Am I a madman? What the fuck what am I doing? This is insanity. Why am I doing this? Can you guess what I'm doing? I'm mashing it all up. Oh, I'm, I'm mixing it all up. Turning it into mints. That's me singing in the background. Alright, look at that. So what I'm doing is I'm just mashing it, not mashing it, I'm splitting all the beef up with uh, the spatula, making sure it's all separate, giving it individual uh, bits, I guess, I don't know what to say, and yeah, it's looking good, um, I, I, I'll just tell you, uh, I'm making mints for my burritos, that's right, this is just burrito mints, really, just beef. So that's what I'm doing. I'm making tacos or wraps. I'm, I'm making wraps basically. Very simple, very easy. I'll cut to the bit where it's all done. Make, honestly, the best tip is just make sure there's no pink. And you're done. If there's no pink, you're done. You're cooked. Delicious. And here we go. This is my wrap. Um. I, what I do is put two wraps in, put some cheese, 
and tomato ketchup. Put tomato ketchup on this, lads. It's fucking good with tomato ketchup. Really good. It's the same mint, same ingredients, same everything. On a wrap. You can do so much with this mint. I like the taste, man. I love the flavour it comes off with. So yeah, it's, it's good. It's delicious. Also, look at this. Me being fucking generous. Uh, <laughs> yes. And what you can do as well, you can put it in a bag, like a seal bag, throw it in the fridge, and then for a minute and a half, throw it in the microwave with your wrap. And boom, you got cooked mints again. So you can... You can throw it in the fridge for like two to three days, no longer, and that's how you wrap. Yeah, that's it. Throw it in the fridge for like two to three days. Do not do it any longer. Fuck it. I did it for, um, for like a week. I almost puked from the smell. <laughs> Don't do it. So all you need to do is put on the wrap, put cheese and tomato ketchup on it, throw it in the microwave for a minute and a half. The cheese melts with it as well. Boom. The flavour might not be in the mince, that's why you just douse it with fucking ketchup. But anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I uh, enjoyed the music in the background. Uh, I hope I saved you some cash, honestly. It's cheap. Fucking delish. Bye.